slot for John Marino. Down low gets a deflection. He scores! And for the 15th straight season, the Pittsburgh Penguins are headed to the Stanley Cup playoffs. We still have a lot to play for here. We got home ice advantage that's at stake. We got first place that's an opportunity for us. Let's just be ready to go tonight. It's hard to win in this league unless it's a team effort. I think things are looking really good for this team to make a serious run. They can do this. They absolutely can do this. You're not going to win with one or two or three players. The league's just too difficult. It's too hard. When you look at Stanley Cup championship teams, they are teams in the true sense of the word. And so we preach that a lot with our group. And, and I think, you know, part of it is the chemistry that's developed off the ice. Yeah! And that translates on the ice. And so, you know, we, we like the group that's assembled here. We think we have become a team. Now our challenge is in front of us. Nothing here. They got the necessary points. Uh, you're going to see where the cards go. You've done all you can do. But it'll be an entertaining playoff year to say the least. Congratulations on a hell of a regular season. You guys put our team in a great spot here moving forward. We controlled what we can here. Now we just got to see what happens with the other teams. But I think we got a real good shot here at home ice advantage and maybe even first place. All right. Great job. Penguins are the East Division champions. They're first since 2014, and yes, congratulations are in order to everyone, top to bottom, from Mario Lemieux and Ron Burkle, right down to Freddie freaking Goudreau. How many periods is this one? What? Yeah. Wait. That's it. That's it. You have infinite energy, man. All right, here we go. I got Teddy. Hold him up, hold him up! That's it! Banger's <laughs> feeling it today. Oh, good try, man. I was trying to read it where it would end up, but I knew you saw that. Yeah. And we're on ESPN highlights. Or at Tibia Spall. This team has more momentum than anybody in the division. They had an unbelievable second half of the season. I say. How are they going to handle it when the pressure's on in the playoffs? That's the question we're all going to be watching. Breaking news off the top. We have the Islanders. It's going to be a tough series. Mike, uh, I'm sure you are enjoying a week with no games after the schedule you've had, but what's the challenge of keeping rust from settling in and, and trying to keep the edge that you finished the season with? We're going to make sure we stay plugged in here. Bad we put a game plan together that we think is best for the team to get some rest and recovery, but also make sure that we put the work in that's necessary to have success. Ew, that was sweet. You see that? The Islanders, we know it's going to be a tough challenge. There's familiarity and you try to play a game that allows you to play to your strengths. The National Hockey League presents the Pittsburgh Penguins and the New York Islanders in the opening round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's a hard-fought division. There's two great combatants. We've got news that Evgeny Malkin will not play for the Penguins this afternoon. You're going to get in the playoffs. Anything and everything can happen. Okay, gang, you know what type of game it's going to be. We know what type of series it's going to be. You know the blueprint to have success. Now we got to be willing to play the game the right way. All right, let's be ready for this one here. Let's go. Well, you know this crowd even though it's a little under 5,000 right now, they're going to get on their feet. And this is where home ice advantage can kick in. Here we in. go. Here we go. Ooh, shoot the puck on this guy, boys. Dumoulin, a shot, never made it through to the net. Thrown right back through the slot. Go, go, go. Caroms out for Latang. Slot pass to the side of the goal. Angled on net by Crosby, who goes digging for it. Good start. Can you save it? Got to get up. 
up, D. Watch out! Here is Kyle Palmieri hey, entering the zone. Palmieri takes it wide, takes a shot, he scores! Come on here, let's respond. Let's respond. Gensel curls back, has some space, takes a look, floated to the front, kicked oh. off for Latang. What a subtle play by Sidney Crosby. I didn't even mean to, I just hit my skate and went right to you. Oh, it looks like you kicked it. Keep playing here. Freddy Goudreau, you're right. Favors a wrestler, Rodriguez comes away with one the battle and he shoots the puck. Walk, walk. Knocked off. With it is Goudreau, he shoots and scores! Freddy Goudreau ties this game for the big one! Good shift, good shift! Crosby's lying on board. Who gets it? It goes to Dumont on her shot. That one just puts it on the body and went in. Yeah, hey, those lines set us up, right? Those two shifts set us up. Great job. Right up. Right up. And so it is a one goal contest here with 20 minutes remaining. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Penguins in a change. Pajot scores. Are you kidding me? All of a sudden, things are changing dramatically here. Here's Nelson again with a shot. He scores! Oh my goodness. Come on, pressure pucks here. Pressure puck. Don't peel off. Lots of pushing and shoving. Oh, That's how this game right. goes in the playoffs. Inside four oh, minutes to play. Carter drops for Kapanen. He shoots. He scores! And the Penguins come right back to tie it. Regulation is done. The game is not. Go to him, go to him! Paul Mary with a shot, he scores! Kyle Paul Mary and the Islanders take game one! Well, I thought it was a pretty even game. That's our coach's assessment of the game. The decisions where we could have been better was on the offensive zone entry more so than our end. It's really about going out and it's about effort, it's about execution and making sure that we try to get to our game as early and as often as we can. I know that's what the Islanders are trying to do, and we're trying to do the same thing. I'll tell you what, there's nothing like playoff hockey, and as we find out tonight, there's nothing like a little boost from the atmosphere in the building. Yeah, it is a playoff atmosphere, and I think the fans and the players in this whole city know the importance of this game. It's not the puck. We're underway. Thanks for being with us here for game two. Right ahead. Right it's right rocking ahead. and a rolling, and if you're not here, shame on you. Let's get after the puck here. You know how the rest of it goes. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Nelson takes a massive hit for Brandon Tannen. <laughs> oh, baby. Go ahead. It's turbo time. Three minutes off the clock. Wulak turns it over. Ryan Rust over the attacking line. This yeah. shot scores! Rust beats Marlamov over the glove, and the Penguins open the scoring in game two. Go, boy! He's leaving tonight. On the hook. Put him in the net. Put him in the net here. Carson's up next here. Drops it to McCann, left side, Carter cuts it top of the crease, fires yeah. and scores! Jeff Carter gives the Penguins a 2-0 lead late in the first period. I play part, they got Carter for a reason. He can still skate, he can still shoot, and man oh man can he score. Great shift, Carter, you have like that. Talk to him, talk to him. And I told you things were going to open up. Yeah. Both teams have had just a boatload of chances here. Let's respond. Let's respond. Boys, let's want the puck here, eh, boys? Want it. Chase it. Pumped it. Come on, come on. Zach Aston Reese goes cross ice right. on the down and out. Him. It's Tanev. He's in. Stopped by Varlamov, and he holds his ground. And they won't give Tanev the benefit of the doubt. Johnny will go right after him. Run the goalie. Are you a coward? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah. What the are you going to do? What are you going to do, hey, Mayfield? Yeah. You'd have him on your team, wouldn't you, Johnny? No question. These guys out of their mind? You know what the Islanders are going to try to do. They're going to try to get under your skin. They're going to try to get a power play and get back in this hockey game. Hey, leave them. I got him. Don't worry. Boys, let's get some urgency here. Last two. Let's finish this right. I like the way the Penguins have managed the game here in the third period. Five seconds left. Collected by Latang behind the net. And the Penguins have even this series. Hey, got it, Bile. Play the Bile. Let's go. Go, baby. Let's go. Let's go.
So great win, gutsy effort. I thought the third period we made a lot of progress. We got to continue with that mindset, just playing with that swagger that I thought we played with for most of the night. Good job. Tonight, the scene shifts from Pittsburgh to Long Island in this round one series scales down from a best of seven to a best of five as we drop the puck on game three between the Penguins and the New Ooh, York yeah, Islanders. Uh, well. Cap star. Lurking in the murky, baby. No place I'd rather be. I'm excited to see what this team could do because we've been waiting. We've been frustrated with all the injuries and everything else that's gone on, and now we seem to be getting healthy. Let's look for that off net somewhere, okay? Now, this is where the rubber hits the road. Oh, now you have to go into this hostile environment. You win game number three, and this whole oh, series yeah. changes. It's held in by Latang. Yeah. He scores! Yeah. Hey, hey, boys. Hey, boys. Right, boys. Hey. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Did I score that? Uh, it's just too much fortune. It's just too much speed and too much skill for the New York Islanders to handle. Right, good play. Good play. What coming? What coming? You see, Komarov hit me, and I hit the ref into their board. I got Gens here. Big block. Big block. All the way across Mayfield, he'll delay his shot, they score! And the Islanders have tied it! That's the right idea, that's the right idea. I almost jammed that one, you threw back. On the near side, picked up on the backhand by Goudreau, he finds Carter in on the attack, wrist shot off the post and in! Jeff oh, Carter boy. fires it past Varlamov and gives the Penguins the lead right back. It's 2-1 Pittsburgh. Watched by Letty. Pass to the on, interior. Come on. Trying to take it back and bounce to yes. Zucker. Cuts back. He scores! Jason Zucker. Varlamov nice couldn't team. pick it up, and the Penguins have taken a 3-1 lead. Oh! Stay with it here. Stay with it. Get Let's on the wall. Move on, boys. Marino lost his helmet. He has to go to the bench. Now Letty with a shot blocked in front. Mayfield the follow. It's loose. They score! Kicks it back to Pornazel. Side of the net. Beauvillier scores! And it's tied! Hey, let's calm down here, fellas. We're in a perfect position. Let's play calm here, huh? Here's Malkin closing in for Carter. He scores! Jeff Carter, a power play goal. And the Penguins are back out in front. Now get on the hook. Tight. Nice! Oh! Lead. Mayfield to the net, they score! Off Clutterbuck and in! Tied in four with 5.43 left! It's a playoff series against two real equal teams. And the stakes are high. Dobson puts it to the wall. What? Latang with a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, knocked out of the air and in by yes. Tanev! Yes! Yes. The Pittsburgh hey. Penguins again have the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, and the Pittsburgh ball. Penguins have won game three. Good game, eh? Good game, George. Hey. Whoa, there it is. There it is. Love it. Love it. Great play. Great play right there. Nice play right there. Here we go. Recover. We're gonna have to play through some stuff. We know it's coming, we gotta be ready for it. The more we can spend time in their end zone, it takes them out of the opportunity as far as trying to hit us and trying to wreak the havoc that they create. The only way they're gonna make that effective is we allow it. From Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York, the Pennsylvania Stranglehold in their round one series as they take a two games to one advantage to the ice in game four against the new York Islanders. Yep. I mean, I don't have a crystal ball, but I will say this. I would be surprised if the Islanders don't come out here this afternoon and try to drag this game from the Nassau Coliseum to the back alley. So bring your work boots and get your boxing gloves on because it might be that type of game. Front blocked off again by Crosby. Now a shot by Bailey. He scores! Oh. Hey, play simple harder. 
Stay close to each other. Watch the talk here, Johnny. Just Johnny. He's just, he's just in there battling. I mean, he's in there doing everything he can. The Penguins have not been sharp all afternoon. They did not come to play playoff on it. Now, give them a lot of credit. They certainly did in game number three. Yeah. And maybe they emptied too much of the tank. Hey, Jared. Uh, after getting a day to regroup, uh, I'm just kind of curious, what is the mood of the team right now, and, and what are the main points of emphasis going into this important game tonight? You know, obviously, it wasn't our best game, last game against them. But, you know, tonight we have a better mindset going into the game, and uh, we should be good. So for the Penguins coming in here, back home, they've got an opportunity to get that edge again. Four big start here. Dion Goblin, come on. The Penguins have been so good on home ice during the regular season. Now you've got the best of three. What are they going to do quickly for? Well, they got to shoot the puck, Mikey. I mean, I, I don't have a sexy answer for great you. Shot, have a shoot first mentality. That's a great <laughs> shot right there. Here come the Penguins. Three great shifts in a row. Stands like a big C. Hold that. Right in the corner. Hold that. No, Mikey, that was created by some really good work. They were just hounding the New York Islanders. What that? Over to Malkin. He shoots and scores! Oh, that is vintage Gino. Good job, guys. Good job. Certainly, the Islanders aren't as sharp as they were in the last two games, but the Penguins are all over them. I was like, that's probably not me. Research, great block, baby. Great block, hell of a battle, good hit, love that. All that <laughs> Same bucket, there's a one in there, two penalties in a seven. Okay. Beauvillier gets the answer, bounces off the hit, shoots and scores. Anthony Beauvillier. Just a bad, bad goal to give up in the final minute of a period when you've played perhaps your finest period of the playoffs. Come on, boys, grind it out here, fellas. We had a monster out here right now. Right down the middle of the tank. <laughs> Sidney Cross back for Rust. Heavy drive. He scores! And Brian Rust! It's 2 1 for the Pens! It's Rick! He's a father! He's a father! Oh, you gotta throw some more shit at the net. This is when great players rise for great moments. That's a huge save. What a move. Both teams have good pace here at this point. Yeah, unbelievable. Four check to pressure right in front. Everly a chance and he scores. Jordan Everly. The game is tied at two. Well, the Penguins fumbled the puck on the dump in by the Islanders. And for the second time in this series, we are going to go to overtime. So six of the last seven, the big ones have lost in overtime. So guess what? They're due. They're due. <laughs> you read my mind. Other guys enjoy that high seam on the on the weak side yeah. of the D. And other guys can just go dot to dot with a with a one time. Oh. Try to hit the stick above the blocker of Sorokin. That was a bomb. Right off his knob. The Penguins let him off the hook a couple times. All right, we gear it up for a fifth period of hockey. Look out! Got it turned over, maybe Bailey to the net, and he scores! Josh Bailey, double overtime off the turnover, and the Islanders take game five. Now it yeah. is the definition of must win. Game six tonight, Long Island. Is this team looking at it and saying, Okay, we're down 3-2. Are we going to come out at 120 miles an hour and play with that desperation? This is what you got. This is it. This is, All the cliches hold. There is no tomorrow. As we talked about the whole time, the last couple of days, it's all about your attitude, right? Opportunities multiply as they are seized. we got to make sure that we just stay in the moment. Regardless of what happens out there, it's that next shift attitude. Let's go get this one. Come on. It's Kapanen, one-on-one -on -one with Green. He finds Carter, he scores! Yeah. Oh, great job. Got him, baby. This series is just all over the map on, as far as the emotional roller coaster. Keep going, boys, keep going. Keep pushing. Keep 
extortioner. Make sure we're on the ice here, Blue. White. On it. There's nobody sitting down. Got some time. Nassau Coliseum right now. It is rock. It is loud. Jack steps in to take the face off. Pajot one hand pull off the shot. He scores! This is a Penguins team. We know the story this year, Borky. The injuries, what they came through, what they battled through, all the adversity on that front. So many guys chipping in. You win the division title. Uh, boy, this one's going to sting for a long time. To clinch a playoff berth for 15 consecutive seasons, how hard is that to comprehend with it being so hard to win in this league? You know, Josh, I came to the Penguins in 1982 as a free agent, and there were some tough years. You know, we did a lot of good things, I think, this year, and we had an opportunity here, and that's why it, that's why it stings so much. You just never know when it's going to actually catch. To do what they've done in that span, 15 straight years, it's been really hard to comprehend. You go through all the rigors of a regular season for that ultimate opportunity to compete in the playoffs. Hard-earned wins, broken bones, teeth getting knocked out. Guys play through that stuff. To be part of that journey is a thrill, but certainly no one's satisfied. It was a challenging year for everybody. The way we lost in the playoffs obviously leaves a sour taste in your mouth, but there are a lot of positives that happened this year for our club. Lock the doors and turn out the lights! The biggest thing I learned is probably the resiliency that the group showed. Hey, up. Hey, hey, hey. We had five of our top nine forwards out at the same time, and our guys battled through, and we just continued to win and wouldn't take no for an answer. What we're seeing now from these Pittsburgh Penguins, boy, this is a fun hockey team to watch. Berkey and I inherited a very good team. There's a special drive to this group that we like, and we'll do everything we can to try to get better this summer, and our goal next year is to come back and hopefully go on a run. This team just didn't matter what was thrown our way. We tackled it. We felt like this was a great group that could have done a lot of damage. You know, we have a lot of talent on this team, and I still strongly believe in this core of players. It was just a great group, and it was fun to be a part of.